Hello, I'm here with my colleague Dr. Lorna Siegel, the Director of Music Therapy at the University of Louisville. Lorna, your doctor research has quite an unusual population. What was the motivation behind your study with inmates? Well, Petra, I have found that inmates um, are an often forgotten about population within our society. Uh, and they're frequently misrepresented in television shows, pop culture, and in politics. And it's interesting to consider that since 95% of people currently serving time in prison will eventually return back out into our population, um, they definitely need a second chance um, at life. And I believe it's our responsibility as members of society who will be interacting with these future civilians that we offer them opportunities to uh, reinforce those skills they need to be a success um, when they return back into our communities. Also, I like this population um, because I want to help kind of demystify that reputation and the stereotype that inmates often have as a result of uh, pop culture and the misconceptions that we um, kind of reinforce. So as my work as a music therapist within this population, I wanted to focus on strengthening the skills related to executive function. And when we talk about executive function, we are referring to skills like goal setting, time management, perseverance, the ability to make a plan and to follow through with it. And these are all talents and skills that you need um, as someone who's living in society in order to be successful. They seem very simple to us because we do them every day, so it doesn't seem like something we need to develop. But particularly when you're in prison um, and living your life as an inmate, you don't have opportunities to make decisions or to set goals or to have an idea and to, set it, and to see it through. What are the outcomes of your study? So for this research project, I implemented a group music therapy session that involved choral singing, lyric analysis, and songwriting. And it was all of these music um, elements that helped us to address our goals. Um, I utilized the brief inventory, which helps to measure executive function. Um, and I found that, sure enough, this group music therapy intervention helped to strengthen and to improve um, these elements of executive function that I mentioned earlier. So when you talk about, um, for example, you have a group of individuals who are writing a song together. Well, you think about all the therapeutic elements of that. Decision making, communication, listening, being respectful to others. Um, and you put that within a prison context um, and it's really effective. So then what are your next steps in this research? So because this is one of the first studies that's ever looked at anything like this, specifically within music therapy, literature, I would like to do it again with more people in different facilities to see how it, it changes depending on where you are. I would also like to refine the intervention because there's there are always things that we want to uh, do differently after having learned from our first experience. Um, so replicating it, verifying the outcomes, um, and also being very specific about what the needs of, of this population, what they are. Thank you, Lorna, for your important work in the field of music therapy. Thank you. Thank you.